scientists, it's Mr. Gilbert, and it's Thursday, and it's a, a science day. So today we're going to be doing another uh, building experiment, another engineering experiment like we did last week. But before we do that, something we don't get to do as much because we're not in person is share out um, different things from your classmates. So I wanted to show you just uh, two of, of the things that my students built. You guys built lots of awesome things. But I wanted to show you Phoenix's chair from last week um, since we didn't get to, to share out. And um, just take a look at the chair that Phoenix built. Uh, this is exactly what I expect in the classroom from a second grade scholar. It's fantastic. And let me just share out a, a little of the background information. So you were supposed to build a chair, engineer a chair from uh, the classroom. So Phoenix did this. She used cardboard uh, and then attached legs, which were pipe cleaners, um, as well as a back um, made out of popsicle sticks and then a piece here. Um, and in Phoenix's kind of description of this, she used pipe cleaners as legs. Um, but then use this hard uh, cardboard, excuse me, hard cardboard surface to sit on, um, as well as this backing plate, or we'll call it a backing plate here, um, so that there was something to rest your back on. So just an awesome um, engineering um, from Phoenix. Let me show you also Amelia's. Now, you're not going to be able to hear Amelia talking here, um, but let me fast forward here. Um, Amelia included a Barbie in here. Let me see if I can get the one without the Barbie. Okay. So this is what I really liked. Here's Amelia's chair. It's a different looking chair, right? Different than than you would probably think of. But I liked this because um, she had support here based on the cups. She had some pipe cleaners um, as well as a piece of felt here and some um, some feathers. And that was to, to make the thing um, nice and comfortable uh, for her. For her, or for the, sorry, can't talk, for her doll. Um, so I just thought that was really cool. And I just wanted to share that that out with you. All right, so um, what are we doing today? Well, today what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing uh, another engineering project, like I said. Uh, I think you can see the background here. These are my two children. Um, let me see if I can make myself whole. There we go. Um, so what you're going to be doing today for science is you're going to be using materials around your house. that You could find materials uh, around, um, I'm sorry, around your house, materials in your box, whatever materials you want to use, and you're going to be designing a bridge. Now, let's take a look at, let's see if I can pull, pull the next, and is it going to let me, is the question. Bridges. <clears throat> One second for technical difficulties as we try to move the screen. Okay, so let me, can I? Let's try this one more time. Okay, now you should be able to see the bridges um, that I pulled up uh, here on Google. So I want you to get an idea of these bridges, just like the, the examples that I showed you of last week's chairs. Um, you saw Amelia's chair looked very, very different than Phoenix's chair. Bridges look very different as well. We have suspension bridges. We have high-rise bridges. Um, all these are different types of bridges. Here's here's different, different bridges. Um, could be covered bridges as well. So I want you to, to kind of get that out of your mind that all bridges look the same because they don't. They all have different purposes, and engineers design them differently for different purposes and for different reasons and with different materials. So your job today is to design a bridge. Um, your bridge uh, has to be able to uh, go over water. So maybe you want to make some sort of a fake water. I think the rule of thumb here is your bridge has to be high enough that you could stick one finger under it. So let's say I made some sort of bridge, like I have two TV remotes here and this piece of um, foam, styrofoam or whatever. Let's say this is my bridge. I should be able to fit one finger under here. It doesn't have to be that high, um, but uh, enough that you could fit one finger making it a quote-unquote bridge. So that's your job today. Your job is to make a bridge. I want you to design it. Don't actually write it on paper. Come on, guys. Let's get. Let's have some fun with this. Design it. Use stuff around your or house. Use stuff in the materials bin, whatever you want. Then upload it to Seesaw, and we'll talk about them tomorrow. And as soon as Mr. Gilbert figures out how to stop recording, we'll have this awkward pause time. Bye, everyone.